it's time for a battle! What's going on everyone? I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm getting a lot better. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot better and things are improving quickly. Um, I am your host, Self Destruct Chatta, and today we are going to be do doing the number three session for our Jinx team. This is the third session and the last session. Next, tomorrow, 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 we're going to have a team building video for our next team. I'm not sure what tier it's going to be. Um, actually, I do. I said it was going to be OU, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. We're going to be doing an OU built team building session tomorrow. And then three days after that, they're going to be uh, battles with the teams, depending on when the Nuzlocke comes in. When I'm when I'm good to do the Nuzlocke, will be depending on when these videos start being every other day versus every day, because the days that these videos are not happening will be Nuzlocke episodes. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So yesterday, our Jinx team got bodied. Which is really bad. Oh, I've, I've never actually seen someone use Ponyard in NU. I know it's a thing. I just never actually seen it. Don't know why. Um, your girl just looking pretty good. Right about now. So. I think he's gonna lead with. Um. That guy. He's weak to steal. Rock. No, yes, no, yes, yes, yes. Water. Um, I kind of want to open with half bird. I kind of want to open with half bird. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to open with half bird. There's the crustle. <clears throat> so we're gonna go for a nice, a nice, um, you know, you know, Stone Edge, and land it. We're gonna land it, and we're gonna land it. I have the utmost confidence on my half bird. Utmost confidence. Spark train. Let's look at Spark train's rank while we're waiting for him to make a move. Cause I want to see where this guy's rated on the NU ladder. Ooh. Okay. So he has sturdy, and then he's got his red card. And the red card messes us up. He's got like decent readings in every single tier, it looks like. Wow, Gen 5 OU, Gen 5 Little Cup, who plays that? That is so weird. Even one versus one. Okay. Um. Yeah, so he had his red card and he switched out of Archaeops and brought us into Nala, which no longer is choice specs. But that means that we can freely go for moves and know that know that we're not locked into them anymore so that's good that might be beneficial somehow later in the match like against actually I don't think that's a good thing at all <laughs> see I think Dark Pulse I think Dark Pulse is stronger than... I'm trying to figure out if Dark Pulse is stronger on Miss Magius than Fire Blast would be. I think it is. Um, we're going to go right into Rosebud, because for Alligators, typically don't have anything for Rosebuds. And we're going to T-Wave him. Mess up his setup process a little bit. Slow things down. Make things difficult for him. Okay, okay, I think we're good. That didn't do nearly as much as I was worried about it doing. Is it more important to set up rocks? No, he doesn't have anything weak to rocks on this team. We're not going to bother with that right now. Okay, next, 
We're gonna protect. Yeah. No, how do you know? <laughs> Okay, all I have to do is grab a sling that outspeeds and I can live in Aqua Jet. Good old Jinx! Okay. So we should be free to... Psy Shock. I mean, the Bisharp's immune. But... Ah, uh, not the Bisharp, the Ponyard's immune. But... If I went for Energy Ball, I'd still have to switch, so... All right. <laughs> um, these things like to set up too. So I'm gonna try to get off a scald on it with my drag all day. Get off a scald, burn it on the first scald because. That's my luck. Ooh. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Come on. Iron Head, okay, that's gonna take me out. This is tough. It's a hard knock life. Go to Earthquake and just take whatever he throws at us. We have no other choice. Dwayne is our saving grace. Dwayne is what keeps me going. He's my rock. So we're going to have this guy to make a move. I'm thinking he's just going to sucker punch or knock off. Yeah. But that's really the only thing we could do to preserve... The rest of our team. <laughs> Doom was really our only stop to that. And looking at it, ooh, we might be able to hurt this pretty bad. Yeah, that was nice. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So let's see. DD scarfed. Her strongest move against all of the opponents is Ice Beam. However. I don't want DDD to be matched up against the Slurpuff. I want Half Bird against the Slurpuff. So we're gonna let Half Bird come in right now. Get off a knockoff. KO the Mismagius. And watch him go into whatever he goes into. The Slurpuff. Without even hesitation, he immediately switches into Slurpuff because he is confident in himself. He is sure that this Slurpuff is gonna KO my Half Bird. I disagree. Oh! Okay. Let's see. Stone Edge at 72%. Which means Earthquake should do 1.5 times less. Yeah. So, with that in mind, I'm going to do some math on my phone right now with my calculator. And figure this out because 1.5 times 0.72 that is 1.08. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. <laughs> Minus 0.72. Yeah, according to my mathematical knowledge, Earthquake won't kill. So we're gonna go for another Stone Edge. Citrus Berry, it's a thing, it's real, respect it. Respect the citrus. Okay? Archaeops, items are useful, and everyone runs no item Archaeops, but Citrus Berry just saved my booty. Respect the citrus. 
Oh, he scarfed. He scarfed. Okay. What's the Ligand special defense like? What is the Ligand's special defense like? Ligand. Pretty bad. I think an Ice Beam would KO. Um. Oh, but Jinx. I know Jinx could live a Pedal Dance. I'm, I have speed, though. I should have speed. So we're going to go ahead and go into Jinx. Hit it with an Ice Beam. If it doesn't kill, it kills. All right. Ha. Our Jinx team won. Now we're 8 and 2. Overall. That is our overall showdown ranking. We're 8 and 2. No. We're 8 and 3. We're 8 and 3. 8 and 3. This is our overall Pokemon showdown ranked rating. We have won eight games, lost three. That's pretty decent. If we win our next one, then that should put us at ah. Uh, should put us at. Why am I not thinking? Nine and three. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Butterfree. I don't like shiny Butterfree. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. This is a pretty weird team. I'm not sure what he's going to open with. I'm not sure what he's going to open with. Not Typhlosion. Maybe Butterfree. He might open with Butterfree. He's not going to open with Typhlosion. Not going to open up with Malamar. Not going to open up with Muck, I don't think. Or Pharrell. I think he's going to open with Butterfree. So again, I'm going to open with Half bird, because I outspeed a butterfree for alligator. Wow, that's wildly inconvenient. We're gonna switch right out. Right in the rosebud. Oh, I could have switched into Jinx. But that was probably better because we got some damage off on it. Alright, let's Thunder Wave. Something's gonna get paralyzed. Typhlosion, perfect. That is a wonderful thing to get paralyzed. So we're going to go right into our Dragal J. This is going great. This battle is going great. We're going to win this battle 6 to 0. So, uh, this Fralligator, or this Typhlosion is going to be forced to go for a pitiful, weak baby eruption. And then we can Sludge Bomb pretty safely. Or we can Skull. But Skull. Hmm. Sludge Bomb's 135, because it's 90 times 1.5. Let's Scald to do 160. Scald is stronger. Let's Scald. Let's Scald. Burn the Malamar. Burn. Burn. Mm. Okay, well, last time this happened, I got Psycho Cutted. So, I know what's coming. I know what's coming. Sub, oh dear. This isn't good. <laughs> this just got really bad. Let's go ahead and set up rocks. Superpower. I am afraid for my life. Okay, one more superpower will kill my rosebud. I know he's not scarfed. So Nala should outspeed and get off a hyper voice. Hyper Voice will not kill from this range. So Nala might have to go early. But that would mean Rosebud might have to too. And I really can't deal with that. Can I? Can I? No. I need a safe switch into, D into, into Nala, and I'll have one. Okay, so that means that Rosebud's gonna have to go unless I kill something else off. <laughs> but I really can't afford to let him get off a billion superpowers. <laughs> that, just that just makes it harder. So, shoot. Shoot! <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think a Hyper Voice will kill. It'll go right through the sub. 
but I don't think it'll kill. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have Nala and Golem tag team this Malamar. Yeah. That's going to be what happens, probably. Oh! No! Wait, okay, hold on. I'm confused. Was I thinking that rivalry does not what it does? Is it strong against the same gender? Oh! Duh, that makes more sense. Okay. Yeah, because of the boost. So the last episode, the episode before, I got rivalry mixed up. Rivalry does more damage against the other girls. So that means it's more likely for the opponents of Pokemon to have girls, I guess? I don't know. Okay. That makes way more sense. I've been playing my Nala wrong. Nala's gonna start wrecking in this fight. Um. Right, so for Alligator... Let's go to DD. Take the water type move. Wow, that's terrifying. Let's energy ball and kill it. Yes, oh, DD, girl power. Woo! DD, you are a beautiful, beautiful creature. What is coming out of your hip? Look at Didi's hip. We're about where the hip should be. What is that? I have no idea. I can't even... I... <laughs> I have no idea. That is very weird. But... Didi's still a beautiful, beautiful creature. So, now we can... Scald again. Scald's still stronger. I'm just gonna switch. I would love to burn this muck, make its poison jabs weaker. Or its explosion. Yeah. Alright. So mucks are usually specially defensive. So what we can do is. He forfeited. Okay. So. That's gonna be that. Yeah. We want to know. We're 9 and 3. Nine, nine. We are nine and three overall, which gives us like, which means we win a lot of our games. So that's a good record, right? Show me your math calculator. Hold on, hold on. I don't know how to math. I do this because I'm bad at math. We lose. No. Hold on. For every three games, for every 12 games we play, we win nine. I have a math test tomorrow in um, Math 1101, and let me tell you, it's not going to go well. <laughs> we win 75% of our games. I just did math. Um... Okay, so those are going to be the only two battles for this episode because, like I said, my math professor is hosting a math test tomorrow, and I've got lots of work to do, and I haven't eaten yet, and I'd really like to do that. And we got two games in, and we won them both, and I want to end on a positive note so that Jinx and Nala can feel good about themselves because they deserve it. So that is going to be today's episode. Please watch out for tomorrow's team building video and this week's Pokemon Black Randomizer Evolution Lock. It's coming. It's on its way. It is almost here. So... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoy yourselves. I have been your host, Self-Destruct Chatta. I will see you guys tomorrow.